it's Rosie here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, I am here wrapped up very warm and cosy today. <laughs> so I just literally walked in. Um, we've been out for lunch just around the corner. I'm having a very lazy Sunday. I didn't get home till quite late last night and I have not had a huge amount of sleep if I am totally honest as you can probably tell by my face. A little bit sleepy, but I'm good. We, I, it was my friend's birthday last night. We went to Sketch in London, which was amazing and so beautiful. They, we had um, afternoon tea, which I've never had before, but it was amazing. So you had champagne and posh tea and uh, a million rounds of cake and sandwiches, and it was amazing. <laughs> and then, see, that was really great. And then after that, we went out to a few, few different um, places in London and did lots of dancing till the wee hours so a little bit sleepy today I'm having a lazy Sunday and one of my favorite things to do on lazy Sundays is look at books particularly sewing books and I'm going to be sharing with you today three new sewing books or newish some of them are new than others which have hit the shelves recently and I would really, I'm going to just show you what I like about them really and show you some of these lovely new sewing books which are available if you fancy them. Um, before I start, let me show you what I'm wearing and I can probably get undressed as well. Um, this is a ready to wear scarf so I'll take that off. But I am wearing a Vogue coat, Vogue patterns coat which I made last winter um, in this beautiful um, orange boiled wool. It's really big, oversized. This, this is, I call this my teddy bear coat. I did a jazzy brown floral lining and it, um, I'll do it up like this, it has these sort of nice clasps which I like on coats. It just does that like this. And I love this asymmetric collar. And this is a very easy Vogue pattern and it really was such an easy, easy sew and it's so lovely on like cosy cold Sundays like today to just sort of chuck this on, go and grab some breakfast slash lunch because you didn't wake up on time. <laughs> And underneath I'm wearing another Lazy Sunday classic, which is ta -da, my Tilly and the Buttons Cocoa dress. And this is the striped jersey fabric from Fabrics Galore, which is amazing quality. Um, and I chose this amazing yellow. I've seen some really cool stuff made with this jersey and the quality is exceptionally good. So I would highly recommend the jersey and this pattern. It's very cute. It does stick out quite a lot. I'll stand up so you can see. So it's got kind of a cutesy vibe. It sticks out at the bottom. I made the size three. It's quite loose, um, but it's kind of meant to be. <laughs> I wouldn't want the, um, I wouldn't want the cocoa dress to be tight. I don't think it's I don't think it's designed to be a tight dress, so I'm quite pleased with that. In fact, I oh, and something else I really want to share with you, I'll insert some pictures here. Um, my friends, as I was saying, I went to my friend's birthday last night. I made her, um, her name is Zinnia, <laughs> and, so I'm, and she works with uh, kids, and she really has always wanted a cross-back pinafore, so like an apron pinafore dress type thing to wear to work. So I made her a denim one. I used the Sew Me Something Beatrice pattern. I had never used a Sew Me Something pattern before. It was such a lovely, quick, easy make. It did, the only time consuming bit of it was seven meters of bias binding to attach. Now that was time consuming, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I did it on the sewing machine, it still did take a long time. But the rest was super simple and I would really recommend it. So I hope you like it and she likes it. So we called it her Zinny Pinny or her Zinnafor. We had an argument which was the best pun. I went for Zinny Pinny and I embroidered Zinny Pinny on the back. Just because I'm cheesy. But anyway, let's talk about books. So, the first book I'm going to share with you, I've got three books here. The first, is that close enough? I don't want to be like too close. There you go. <laughs> it's kind of dark actually, it's quite a grey day today, so apologies for the lighting. The first book I'm going to share with you is this. So this is called Jolie Bourbines, and it is a French sewing book. So I do not speak French, very fortunately, my boyfriend does, so he can help me because he did his degree in French, so that was handy. But the style in this book is so beautiful. I actually found out about this book via Instagram. I saw it in a couple of people, people's stories um, and, new, and feeds, and I was like, ooh, this looks interesting. And I already followed Jolie Bobby, jo, Jolie's, Jolie Bobby on Instagram, and all of her pictures are gorgeous, so I'll leave a link down below. But this book is just so stylish. Have a look at this. These are the trousers, oh, the trouser pattern which is included. So the concept behind this book is it's um, basically got a selection of patterns and it, all the patterns are included. 
So inside, so inside it has an overview of all those nine different patterns. There's skirts, dresses, bags. I show some of my favourites, and not one but two striped top patterns. So you know I'm going to be loving that because I love a stripe. I love a stripy top. Um, I still this is how my hair was last night, so it's a bit messy. <laughs> I kind of slept like that, but I like having it up when I'm out because I can, you know, keep keep cool and dance. Anyway. Um, Two of the patterns are for leather bags, which I thought was really interesting, and I really like that, um, because I've never worked with leather. So there's two different leather bag patterns. Like I said, two stripy tops, both of which have really cute button details on them. So this has got buttons down the back. And there's another t-shirt which have buttons down the front as well. And there's, yeah, I have her trousers, skirts. The photography is so stylish. Just look how cool these shorts look. I just love it. So yeah, really loving this book. I haven't obviously made anything from it yet because it only came out I think last week, so this is a really new one. Um, and I just ordered it online, it came within a couple of days. And all the patterns are already printed out for you on these really big sheets. So that makes it all much, much, much easier. You do have to trace them, but that doesn't really matter. It's just like the Tilly and the Buttons book, and Love at First Stitch, you have to trace them off, but it's not the end of the world, you know, it takes 10 minutes. Um, it's quicker than sticking a PDF together, I would argue. <laughs> anyway, so I love this book. Nine lovely projects, all the paper patterns included. The instructions are in French. This is the only downside. So if you don't have a French-speaking boyfriend or speak French yourself, then I would argue if you had any experience sewing um, basic, basic garments, because none of the garments in here are complicated, then you could probably just work it out from the pictures. There's, there, then I haven't seen any of them, and I've been like, I don't understand that, from the photographs, because, yeah, all the steps are photographed. There are little tips as well, which is quite nice, like how to make placket pockets and things like that. So, yeah, that's the only downside. So if you're not so confident or as experienced, this probably isn't the best book for you, unless you speak French, in which case it's great. Um, but this, the, the real pros of this book are the all of the garments are gorgeous. Like I want to make them all. They're really, really stylish, simple, chic, beautiful. And it's just a beautiful book to look at. I took this to Bath with me for our little break. We went away um, for two days this week, which was really nice. Took it with me just to read on the train and just admire the pictures. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love that book. But anyway, the next book I'm going to share with you is this one here called No Patterns Needed by Rosie Martin, uh, who's Rosie Martin DIY Couture on Instagram. And she did, I spoke, spoke about it in my fabric haul video, she has um, started the Sew Docs Challenge for the RNIB, the Royal National Institute uh, for Blind People. And um, yeah, so she's a really inspiring sewer, so she's doing some really cool things and really interesting. I do think that her, her style is really cool, but it's also very innovative. It's not that she's copying anybody else, it's very much her own style, it's very cool. And the patterns in this book are quite along that vein, there's nothing in here that I feel like I've seen before. There's really, really interesting um, design lines and details, which is obviously what you're looking for. So the concept behind this book is there's no patterns needed, funnily enough. And um, so contrasting to Jolie Bobine, this one has, instead of giving you instruction, I'm sorry, instead of giving you patterns, it gives you instructions to create the patterns yourself. It's sort of like a really first tentative step into pattern drafting. But it's using three shapes. If I show you the back of the book, you can see all of the garments which you can make in the book are on the back. And they're colour coded. So the blue things are circles, the pink are rectangles, and the green are triangles. And you can use those to create, yes, absolutely loads of different garments. There's 15 different things in here. I'm going to show you a couple of my favourite things. One of them, and this is something which I've seen on Rosie's Instagram that she made in polka dots as part of the sew dots, is the four slice sweater. So it's a raglan sweater literally cut into four slices, which I really liked. And you can see it has the maths section down the sides that tells you, um, you know, to, to put your measurements in here, multiply or divide by this, add this, and then it will tell you um, the size of, of what you need to do. It sounds more complicated than it really is. And another thing I was going to say is I love the styling in this book. It's really cool. I think quite often I do find, I think I've said this before, like the styling on commercial sewing patterns isn't great. The indie patterns do it, I think, a lot better <laughs> style-wise. 
Um, but the style of this book is so young and it's so, it reminds, it's very like quite London and I think that's probably why I quite like it. It feels quite, maybe not just London, but it feels quite like urban, quite sort of city style, which is something that really appeals to me. Um, but, ah, here's another one which I really, this is a circle one which I really loved and it's the, um, the spot pocket skirt. So it's got these funky like circular pop popping my head over the top, sorry, I see what I'm doing. Really cute uh, circular po pockets. Again, it has the math section in there for you. And I would say the instructions are quite long, but that's because you are doing it all entirely from scratch. <laughs> so I, you know, I think that's understandable. And actually I've seen some finished projects made from this, a couple of things, like I said, online. And it look, they look really cool, I <laughs> really like it. I love the style. And I love the concept behind it. This dress I love as well. Um, so you can see it on two different models here in different pa sort of different patterns, different styles. This is a bit more retro, a bit more kitsch with her lovely pink hair. This is a bit more probably how I would wear it in this kind of print for this time of year. Um, really cute. This is I think called the shirt dress. Yes, it's called the shirt dress, and um, it's a pink version. As I as you know, I love pink. So yeah, some really interesting things, and actually, this is, I would say, such a bargain. This book is only £17.95, but you get 15 different things in there, 15 different garments, and she also gives you variations on each one, so it's not just 15, really, it's more like 30 or 40 different things, because there's all different variations on each of her designs, which is, yeah, it's just super cool. I really love it. It's really interesting, and it's not described in words which are complicated I could just the amount of work that must have gone into making this book is incredible like because of just all the detail so detailed step-by-step -step instructions for so many different pieces it's yeah it's pretty cool so I do really recommend this one they're both lovely I couldn't choose one I was going to buy one and I was like no. <laughs> and so I had like a, a bit of a splurge week and I bought two sewing books in one week but you know what I hadn't bought a sewing book in absolutely ages and I really love just sitting and reading them and reading. That's why I'm so excited for Susie magazine for you guys because as much as I love looking online at things, I really am an old fashioned girl and I love paper and I love magazines and books and just sitting there something really relaxing and sometimes I like having like an audio book on in the background and just read a book, look at the pictures if you're feeling a bit tired. <laughs> So the last book I would like to share with you is this one here, it's called Make It, Own It, Love It and it is by Matt Chappell, who if you do recall won the Great British Sewing Bee last year and this is not one I purchased, these are two which I have purchased recently because I was just so excited <laughs> to see them. This one, I was, this one was very kindly given to me by the publishers so I could um, share it with you guys and uh, make some of the things inside as well, see if I find some useful things inside. Um, and it's a really lovely book. I will show you some of the things inside the book. It has very nice illustrations like these. Isn't that pretty? Um, and I do really value, this is going to sound silly, but if it's a sewing book or a, a, a beautiful book full of girly lovely things, I think that having beautiful illustrations is an absolute must. I just think it's so important and it makes me really want to read it and to sit down and just enjoy you know, devouring it. So this book has a different concept to the other two in that it's not just projects, there's different things inside. So, this one starts off, I would say this is probably the best book for a beginner. I think the other, these two here are best for intermediate sewers or, or advanced beginner, I think there's some kind, sometimes known as, because you do need to have a certain, <clears throat> sorry, you do need to have a certain amount of sewing skill to be able to do those. This book actually would be ideal for somebody as a gift, I was thinking, somebody who's just started sewing, this would be perfect because it really does like start right back at the basics with like all the tools that you need. Obviously this is not all the tools you need to buy but there are pages which have them. So it has like all the different things you're gonna need. It really, really starts at square one, which obviously for me, I'm not necessarily gonna use these sections of the book because I've been sewing for quite a long time. But you know, sometimes you can always find things which are handy. Pattern matching I'm not fantastic at, so I could give that chapter a little read over. So the first bit goes through all those things, and then it has different things, um, which, are, which again, why I think it's so good for a beginner, is that it does little tiny changes to clothes which you already own. So this one is putting patches onto elbows of um, pre-existing tops. 
So it's like more like customising than making things from scratch. So you start off with your tools and then it goes to the customising. And it also has a bit on um, mending garments, which is actually very good because something that's so important, obviously, in our culture is we don't just chuck everything away, but we do endeavour to um, reuse, recycle, mend, make do and mend, all those, but they are important. So it's nice to see that in here. I really think that's really an important message that if you're going to put, and also if you make something by hand, you put all that time into making it, you may as well fix it if it breaks, you know. And the last chapter in here is about um, making things from scratch. So it has more stripy things, because everyone loves stripes. So if the patterns at the back of this, or the projects at the back of this book, rather, some of them you can download a pattern for, and some of them you can use things which you already own to make a pattern, like the pyjamas, you make your own pattern using a pair which you already have, and he talks you through that. Such a nice man, I thought, on the sewing bee. I was so happy when he won. He was just lovely, wasn't he? And, and there's a summer dress, and this you can actually download the pattern for as well. So it's sort of a variety of different things in there. Um, but yeah, so this is a, a perfect beginner book, and also a really nice book to give as a gift, I would think, to somebody who's maybe just thinking about it, because they could always start off with a few of the customising projects, maybe seeing some of the, what some of the tools do in a, in a sewer's toolkit, and then once they've done that, they might want to build up to creating a garment themselves and mending things as well. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at some of those lovely new sewing books on the market. I think I'm going to go now and boil the kettle and keep warm and read them because it's nice and cosy and it's autumnal. Thank you so much for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to click subscribe for new sewing vlogs every week. That's everything for today. I'll see you again soon. Bye.